Hey everyone, it's been a hot second since I made a video addressing something, but I guess this time it's gonna be a little different than what we're all used to. I've been stressing making this video for months, but now that enough time has passed and I have some answers to some questions I've had for a while, I feel like it's time to be 100% honest with you all and give you a proper apology. As most of you already know, on June 3rd of last year, I made a video explaining that I'd be holding auditions for the fans of Bendy and Boris' The Quest for the Ink Machine so that they can voice characters for a movie series I was making. <sighs> I was really excited for the project. So many people auditioned, both professional and amateur talent, that really amazed me. But some things didn't go as smoothly as I hoped, which started a snowball of disorganization, dishonesty, and deadlines. A lot of it I take the blame for because I didn't have the experience needed for directing such a big project. I spent my summer reading through the comics and creating a script for the voice actors to read, making notes of how the characters should sound and what emotion I wanted portrayed. So I set up auditions. I thought I had it under control, but I also had my first year of college coming up, as well as a last minute graduation ceremony from my high school. I had misjudged how much time I would have to make this movie. And once realizing this, I went into anxiety mode. I made deadlines for scenes to be a week long. That way, while the next lines were coming in, I'd have time to be done editing and so on. My hope is that the movie will be done for the series' April anniversary, but I didn't understand how time-consuming college classes would be or how emotionally draining they could be. I acknowledge that I failed as a director. I wasn't open to the idea of getting in group calls with all my voice actors for scenes or being proactive in speaking regularly to my voice actors. The more professional voice actors gave me some helpful suggestions, but I had to decline because my anxiety still held me back from expanding my social skills. And I think that's where I let them and you down. Another issue I ran into was last minute dropouts. A few voice actors with some pretty important roles dropped out when a scene deadline was arriving or just never returned my emails when I was able to remind them. I take responsibility for this because I didn't communicate better with them and find a compromise or a way to better motivate them to stay on track. I mean, some of them were amateur ones, some were professional, but some people weren't as old or experienced, so I think that's where I went wrong in letting them do that. And I didn't make my expectations that clear. A lot of this is my fault, and I'm so sorry to everyone for not being honest or transparent with what was going on behind the scenes. I also wanted to come clean and apologize for my real reason for wanting to make this movie. A part of me wanted to give the fans and myself the closure of having a better voice acted and edited version of their favorite comic series, but another part of me thought that it would make a lot of money with the views, making it worth all the harassment, spam, and toxic treatment I've received from voice acting this series all on my own. That's a terrible reason, and I'm really ashamed that I thought that doing all that would make it better. I know now that it wouldn't make much of a difference and it wouldn't make up for anything. I wish that I may have waited before having my YouTube channel at the age that I was. I can tell you that I was not completely ready for what was coming. Maybe then I wouldn't be in this situation. Maybe my fan base would be completely different. Maybe I'd be viewed as a completely different person. I mean, I am glad that I was able to learn this lesson of responsibility that I can have even if I want to pursue a big project like this again. Maybe it'd make it easier on myself. I'll take baby steps towards that before leaping into the deep end again. Um, thank you for watching this video all the way through. I appreciate you hearing me out and listening. I'm sorry that I got all your hopes up for this project and ended up canceling it. I wanted to do the honest thing and come clean to tell you all because you were so invested in the project. I'm also sorry to the voice actors who were recruited for this project. I should have been more professional and organized for your benefit. And I'm sorry to my friends who I've strung along my stress journey. I, I'm really sorry for bringing you all in my impulsive project and emotional rants, but thank you for being there for me. I also want to take some time and reevaluate my commitment and direction of this channel. I, I still want to experiment and create videos because it brings me so much joy to create and voice act, but I also want to learn to be proud of myself again. So I promise that 
when I start back up, it'll be a more positive experience. Thanks so much for watching.